Hey ladies and gents, welcome to episode 4 of my Real Madrid Mass League. Thank you all again for joining me. Now, I have heard from a number of comments the last few episodes about who we should sign as a striker. Pretty much everyone is leaning towards Vlahalovic and I can understand. I can totally understand that decision. The fact he's more of a target man. The fact he's taller offers more of an aerial threat and Martinez is very, very similar. So, I, you know, the, the census was or consensus was that Vahavich is going to be that sort of player to unlock those defences that are lying deep. And I'm in pretty much total agreement with that. So I am going to accept that offer. Obviously, he will not join until the January transfer window. So we just have to wait and hopefully get through these few few windows or a few months of uh, playing before we can actually get him on board. But there we are. We've made him our first signing and Martinez I'm going to shut that one down There's negotiations there then we need to look at a right back whether it's French or Frimpong and going to try and bring in Arda Gula as uh, they have in real life okay we got a big match here against Sevilla I'm going to go with a full strength lineup they are a little bit tired then we're going to bring in Valverde for Cruz for the time being just to give us extra legs in that midfield area but we are going to have to try and score early and then perhaps rest some players like the likes of Mbappe Here we go, away from home. What a stadium that is. So we have to get things underway. Oh, that's a really good chance for Mbappe. Somehow it's a foul. Didn't see much wrong with that, to be honest, but good defending. Severe open the scoring. Far too easy. Defense so high up, and Papa Gomez, with Papa Gomez, runs through to open the scoring for Severe. This is far too easy. Look at that. Defender steps out. Here's Carver. How about there playing him on side? Shocker. Defensive header almost went into his own nut there. Oh, my goodness! Shocking. I couldn't see the free kick. I couldn't see a free kick ticket, so I couldn't tell when the ball was coming in. So I couldn't tell time a button press. Ah, that's ridiculous. Well, we needed that. If we have any chance of getting back in this one, Tony Cruz just comes on. First touch of the game, bends one into the top corner. That's exactly what we needed. Oh, Kingsley Coman on the turn, but he's offside. Oh, my word, that would have fell to, uh, to Rodrigo. He would have scored. Ah, oh, there's a full-time whistle. I didn't play well enough, but I feel hard done by by that free kick. Really hard done by. Couldn't see when it was being taken. You could say I could listen to the sound, but I've got all the crowd in my ears right now. And yeah, well, no excuses. We lost, we move on. 
We have actually secured Arda Gula here for 5.1 million. Gonna bring him in. We've got a way for a thin squad right now. Mbappe's had to come off. We've got no central striker, really. That's why we need the backup striker, Vlahalovic, in the driving transfer window. That is absolutely vital. But yeah, this is a team we're going to go for. Players are tiring, starting to get injured, like Rudiger. Just got no, no depth to the squad right now. Need some serious reinforcements, especially at left back as well. Left back and right back. Okay, so up against PSV Eindhoven in the Champions League. At the Brand of Air, he needs to bounce back to winning ways. He's offside again. He's offside in the last match and ah oh. That's why we need a proper number nine. Uh oh! Oh my goodness! What a save by Courtois! And well, one by Carvajal. Carvajal continues run. Rodrigo! Good effort. No, no, at half time. Vinicius Jr. That was beautiful. That was really nice. Look at this. Comes to Vinicius Jr. I thought about shooting from this angle here, but then he came in and I was able to skip past him. And that is not far wide at all. What is this? Oh my goodness, it's in. It is in. Fabio Silva. Oh my word. More shocking defending. Miss Rudiger back there. He's in, in off the post. Oh my word. Back to back defeats is on the cards. Oh well, back to back defeats and this squad depth is absolutely killing us. You know, bringing on defenders that are 61 rated at left back. No excuse. And the 70 odd rated centre back really causes, well, was the reason for that goal that we conceded. We are still second in the Champions League, but we have to win the final game to make sure it's in our hands. It's still in our hands, but we have to win that final game. Okay, resting Felicius Jr. as well as uh, Carvajal and Tuchemeni. This is the lineup we're going to go with up against Khadif. I'm going to put tight marking on their solo striker. Try and stop him breaking out and put Camavinga on him as well. Oh, 
flash wide by Valverde. Oh my word. Camavinga just doing enough to put him off. I'm going to take off the mark settings that I need him doing, sitting just in front. Not tracking him all the way. Oh, nicely worked, but couldn't find Mbappe in the middle. And there it is! It's an own goal. Mbappe was waiting. But the pressure finally told on that Cadiz back line. Tony Cruz into Mendy. Kingsley Coman flicks it back out to Mendy. Mendy gets to the byline. Crossed in, going towards Mbappe. But it comes off the defender into the back of the net. I don't care how it goes in. That's what we need. Got to stop the rot of these defeats. A set up from Valverde for Mbappe. That back heel was sick. Starts his running, plays that Odrizola. A little back heel that the way he lifts it up as well. That was nasty. And Mbappe, wow, 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 makes no mistake. Mbappe, and there's the full-time whistle, 2-0 victory, back to winning ways. So a striker, Mbappe winning the Ballon d'Or there, he said this is a great honour, I want to try and win this prize many more times if I can, see if we can overtake the likes of Messi. Antonio Rudiger is back, everyone's fit and firing, up against Atletico Bilbao, I've put tight marking on Iñaki Williams, as well as man marking with Ellen Benilitao, just trying to do what we did to you. Cadiz and try and stifle them, although he's a lot quicker. And he's cruise! Oh, trying to bend one into that far corner. You can see exactly what he's trying to do. Oh, Mbappe can't quite keep it on. What Coman was wide open. Kamavinga, shot from range, not troubling the goalkeeper. Oh my word, and Courtois did well to keep that one out. Yes! 
That's how we do it. Switching from side to side. Looking to create that opening. And with the low crosses, I mean, it's the only option we've got with Mbappe, the likes of Mbappe in there. And we've got Vlahalovic. Perhaps aim for a more, you know, longer crosses into the box. Longer balls up front, but this is working right now and it's got us the lead. Gets us tough to bell battle side. It's going to be a goal, isn't it? It's going to be a goal. Oh my word. Good block from the ball. Mbappe! Oh, God, so lucky. Mbappe's off here. He's away. That's it. Oh, he's flashed it past the post. Really good running here, but Cruz to pick him out. Look at this from Cruz. Look at that. Defense splitting pass. He's in. He looks to set himself, but should be doing better. And that surely is that at the end of uh, an entertaining 90 minutes. Do you come away with the spoils? This is how the league table looks now after those runner results. So even though we lost in those results, we are four points ahead of Atletico Madrid and Barcelona and Real Sociedad. Just four goals conceded with really strong defensively and offensively we're not too bad with 23 goals okay so Real Betis up next and they are playing a 4-5-1 we're going to put tight marking on Borja and also we're going to assign man marking with Edda Militi out on him as well just like we've done the past few 4-5-1 formations which is working quite nicely Little double touch and then the shot from Rodrigo. Rodrigo's over. It's a manual shot, so you can see the keeper's wrong footed that. Well, oh, Bennett's having their first effort of the game, just eight minutes in. Wonderful play by Ochozola, but straight down the throat of the goalkeeper from Rodrigo. Side now from Camavinga from the corner. Running out of time though to get this winner. death tried to go for it I tried to put a center back up front and made to pay by Iosi Perez oh my goodness 
You see I just left the one centre back back there. That's my left back coming across to try and help out. And then there's literally no left back to clear. Will be anywhere near Iosi Perez. Shocker. And there it is. The full time whistle. Wow, wow, wow. Wouldn't be making that mistake again. That was really poor. Trying to go for the win. Trying to seek all three points and end up throwing away a point. So following that defeat, that means Atletico Madrid and FC Barcelona have closed the gap to just a point now at the top of the table. But I will just take a look at a few signings here that we may need to progress. And I'll let you guys decide. Obviously, we made a move for Diaby and Wrench. Who do you think we should sign out of those two? Do you think they're going to be worthwhile signing? Let me know down in the comments. And until next time, guys, thanks for joining me. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.